Welcome back everybody. So in today's video, we'll be looking at possibly the last part of Chili's threatening live stream where he was threatening the judge in charge of his case, Allison Burroughs. Now there's still about an hour and 15 minutes to go through, but I'm going to try to condense it under 20 minutes. Let's see if we're able to do that, but there's a lot of nonsense to go over. And I'm sure by tomorrow, Chili will have done something else that is worthy of exposing. Anyways, enjoy the video. You know what? I'm not going to report it because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't keep up with the comments because I don't read them most of the time. So I'm not going to block or report anybody. I'll let the mods do what they're doing. So, so now we know Allison is deeply involved with a, 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 a extraordinarily liberal faction that she's been in, she's been engulfed in for a hundred years. And so, so now let's, now did someone find that? Because I want to, Deanna, how are you? Good to see you. I want to see what they put here for... Boston Police Detective Award about the things that she um, that she's done as far as getting awards from cops, and uh, I, someone sent that to me. If someone could resend that to me again, please. There was she won a bunch of awards from cops from the FBI from. Where was that? Let me let me text my. Is it just me, or does it sound like Chili has a little bit of jealousy in his voice? Maybe he didn't win enough awards and now he's feeling jealous. And Chili would desperately need awards to feel good about himself. It's like his entire channel is a circle jerk echo chamber where basically everybody is just stroking his ego and anyone who has anything negative to say about him will get blocked immediately. Um, proud that I could pull my gun whenever I want. And I had been thinking about it and burning on it. And then, you know, we don't feel like we can get justice in this courtroom. So now this is on Ballotpedia and this is regarding Allison Dale Burroughs. And I want you guys to take a look and I'm gonna go back to 93 here, okay? FBI plaque in recognition out outstanding prosecutor support in FBI task force investigations. What? of the junior black mafia? You know, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if people know this or not, but the, the people that I'm suing call themselves the mafia as well. And Allison D. Burroughs is being completely unfair as far as I'm concerned. So, and then it says here, 1995, let me turn these comments off real quick. I can't see the comments. Um, 1995, FBI and IRS plaque for dedication of outstanding service in cash unlimited investigation. So, 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 so far she's in bed with the FBI and she's getting awards by the FBI and the IRS, two enemies of the people. These folks are not, they don't help us. There's all kinds of people who have cross state criminal things going on. And the FBI is not helping any of us. The IRS, Biden just got 75,000. And by the way, it's not just Biden. It's all the presidents. They're all terrible. But Biden just appointed like 78,000 new IRS agents and not just any, these are militarized. 1997, Organized Crime Enforcement Task and Appreciation of Outstanding. So do you guys know the number one organized criminal group in America is police? And it's and you can read the Wickersham Commission. It's on my website for free. And it says that the first gang in America were organized alcohol swindlers that were cops. Oh boy, here we go with these conspiracy theories. So according to Chile, the biggest gang in America is not organized crime. It's not bikers. It's actually the police. What a delusional idiot, man. Oh my God. Just put on your tinfoil hat, Chili, because you are two steps away from thinking the earth is flat. So the organized crime in America, and let me, and let me, and let me just talk on this for a minute. While Allison D, uh, while Allison D Burroughs is a giant cop sucker from, I mean, you can see from the awards here yourself, the police are the number one gang in America. They're the number one drug dealers. They're the number one pimps. They're the number one gambling group. They're the number one extortionist lobbyist. They're the, they're the number one of everything when it comes to criminal enterprise. It's ran by cops. In the 80s, when they were trying to break up the Crips and the Bloods, eventually they found out that the head of one of those gangs was a cop. The police are the head of every single organized crime in America. Every one of them. From, I, I mean, even from the big T-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-M. The FBI was complicit in J6. They were involved in J6. The FBI, the one that she's winning awards from. She's a play ball kind of person from what I can see. 
So then it says here, uh, New England, drug admitted certificate of appreciation for prosecuting people for drugs. 1997, let's talk about Allison D. Burroughs Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task. Secret Service Certificate of Appreciation. Remember, her per, the person she clerked under was appointed by Jimmy Carter. So even back in 98, when she's a prosecutor, she's getting appreciation from the Secret Service. It's, it's pretty crazy how connected this power is. I wouldn't be surprised if she's connected to people who go to the Bilderberg Group. So, so now I want to I want to talk about something here. In 1997, she won an award from the Drug Enforcement Agency for her outstanding work. Okay, so let, let let's just play that back now because now it's 2022. Most people who were sentenced by her in 1997 for drugs, it's 2022 now. So that's 25 years. So you know, my dad was in prison for 20 years for being a cocaine dealer from Colombia. That's a fact, and I've never hid it. I've never had. I'm never going to hide it. I don't care. I didn't know my father till I became an adult. And so, so, but let me ask you a question. What, now the people who Allison D. Burroughs sentenced to prison in 1997 where she got an award from the DEA, how much better is the drug problem? How much better is it? Put a one in the chat if the drug problem's never been worse. Put a one in the chat if the, if the number one killer of mankind right now in the United States of America is drugs. Put a one in the chat if the drug problem's never been at its highest. Put a one in the chat if you had a friend die from fentanyl this year because there was fentanyl in the cocaine in Hollywood. And if you know someone who died this year. Now, you're not going to hear me say this often, but Chile is partially right here. The drug problem is terrible. And I've heard of people dying from fentanyl left and right. But the drug problem is a very complicated issue. Obviously, you cannot legalize opiates or hard stimulants because people would have too easy of an access to them. And regular people shouldn't take that. Those things destroy lives and are very, very dangerous. And the problem is everything that's coming from south of the border. So it's a very, very complicated issue. But if the DEA wasn't doing anything, it would be 10 times worse. It's easy for Chile to say, oh, there's a big problem, there's a big problem. But he's not bringing any solutions, as usual. He's just whining and complaining without bringing any solutions. Her name was Casey, and I loved her. So since she got an award in 1997, all the people that she put in prison in 1997, they got out of prison. How much better is their lives? How, did, they put, did that create a drag on society? Put a one in the chat if that put a drag on society locking up all those people from 1997. And put a one in the chat if locking up all those people in 1997 did no good. Put a one in the chat if locking up all the people where Allison's winning awards for being a prosecutor if all the work she did is an actual negative contribution to the United States of America. Put a one in the chat if Allison D. Burroughs helped destroy this country by locking up people for drugs. Put a one in the chat. Let me take a look. Let me turn my chat on. One, 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 one. Sentencing people to prison for drugs, Allison uh, D. Burroughs, if you do have the chance to look at this video, which maybe you do, um, it, you ruined our country by locking up people, by endorsing the war on drugs, by winning awards from the FBI, by the DEA. Wait a minute. In the last video, he was saying that he knows for a fact she's watching his videos and she's watching the live stream. And now he's not sure. He says, maybe you're watching it. Well, which is it, Chili? Make up your mind. When I'm in power, when I'm in power, when I'm governor of a state, which... Oh man, the powers that be, all, all those people, all those alumni, all those associations of people are going, oh man, this guy's gonna run for governor. We can't let him win. People say to me, are you afraid that you're gonna be assassinated? When I run for governor is when I'll actually have a legitimate fear. When I'm going into power and I'm gonna abolish the DEA in the state that I represent, at that point, that's when I'll have a legitimate fear because the DEA is the worst agency in the United States of America. Put a one in the chat if you support, if, put a one in the chat if you are against the DEA. If you think the DEA has ruined our country, put a one in the chat if you, put the, if you think the DEA is a degradation, a downgrading. From the IRS in, in 2005 right here and in 1995 right here, dedication for us for cash unlimited. So she's working hand in hand. Put a one in the chat if you believe that Allison D. Burroughs is working as a statist. 
if you think she's working for a centralized power to tax us, to use that money against us, or foreign wars all over the country that are not gonna benefit any of us. Put a one in the chat if you think she's a great big cop supporter and a prison supporter. It sounds like she's been locking up people for decades. And then in 94, when Obama came in and appointed her federal judge, now she's the grand poobah. I mean, what, what do the women call themselves on Instagram now? The boss bitch, that's what they say. It's all over Instagram. That's what they say. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, right? But the, dis the, the, the Republicans and Democrats who are running for representative or senator where you live, it's already predetermined 85% of the time or something like that. It's like 85 or 90%. I think it's, I think it's, they said four out of five different representatives, be senator or house of representatives, the seat is already predetermined to a certain type of individual, a liberal or a conservative or this or that. There's about 10 to 20% of the seats that are, that could be won by someone different. And typically that someone different is in that same particular liberal ideology or conservative ideology or Republican wheelhouse or Democrat wheelhouse where they have a machine there and they've locked out any third party, which I'm creating a new third party. So, cause I couldn't run as a Republican or Democrat because they're all in it together. So he thinks all the elections are rigged. Okay. Anyways, like I said before, politics is so not interesting to me. I couldn't care less, especially about talking about it. But it seems that he wants to run independently. But that's a little bit ridiculous because he has warrants for his arrest. He would never be elected to anything. They would just lock him up first. He should take care of his warrants and then, I don't know, go back to being a makeshift superhero or whatever he was doing in that costume. At least we can have a good laugh. So, it, it, it you know, look, um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to be able to get justice from this woman who's a gigantic cop sucker from her awards. You know, from the award she's winning from the cops and the FBI and the IRS, I don't feel like I'm getting a fair trial here. I don't feel like, I remember I'm the plaintiff and she keeps on trying to beat me up in court because from what my perspective is that she's a giant cop sucker and she doesn't like that I hate cops. I don't respect any of them. I don't respect Allison. I don't respect them. I don't respect it. I'm not, I don't have to respect you. <laughs> I'm not forced to respect you because you demand that I respect you because you're from an elite Northeast faction. You, st come on, you guys can see it. $100,000 a year college, honey? I mean, are you kidding me, babe? That's a lot of money. God bless you. But you've colluded power to yourselves and the people want it back. And you are a problem in our society because look, I mean, because look, look. How many awards is she winning by the FBI and the IRS? And by the way, let me ask you guys a question. When she wins an award from, from the, the Secret Service, the IRS, from the Drug Enforcement Agency, that means she's putting people in prison. That means she's putting people in prison is what that means. She's getting awards for arresting, for, for prosecuting people and putting them in a dungeon. What she paid, what her parents would have paid. And I wonder, you know, what I'd like to ask Allison is, did you have to take out student loans or did your parents pay for that? And if they did, that's cool. I'm happy for you. I'm not jealous. But just understand that you're coming from the wrong perspective. The people, the majority of the people don't have parents that can pay a hundred grand to send their kid to college. They just don't. So that means you're an elitist. If Jimmy Carter appointed the Allison D. Burroughs predecessor, um, Norma, and Norma was appointed by Jimmy Carter. And then, and then remember this, this Allison D. Burroughs, she's winning awards from the Secret Service here. Oh my God, I'm getting tired of listening to this clown's conspiracy theories. And he's so jealous. He is so jealous that Allison Burrow had a good family that was able to put her through college, all expenses paid. And so what? So what if she had money? So what? Just don't commit crimes, don't sell drugs, and you're not going to get arrested by the DEA. It's that simple. She's winning, yeah, uh, P, uh, PJC Net just said, winning awards from the Secret Service 20, 30 years ago, that's kind of suspect. I mean, I'd like to ask Allison if I could, what did you win awards from the Secret Service for? How come you're getting awards from the Secret Service? I'm just wondering. Oh, is it Penn University? Did I say you, Penn? I'm so sorry, Jeffrey. Remember, 
I'm a regular old dunce cap. Everything I've learned, I've learned on my own on the internet. I struggled to go to college. I took out student loans. Uh, I, 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 you know, I paid back my student loans. So there's that. I did pay back all my student loans. And, um, you know, but I struggled to go to college. I got a Pell Grant, I think, a couple times. I got a couple of Pell Grants. Um, you know, but I didn't have, you know, I didn't have the backing that I needed to really be able to focus and go to college. And, and so because of that, uh, I had blown my knee out and then I was working at Subway in between classes to pay my bills. And by my, I, I went to college for five years and I almost graduated. But then that last year, uh, my, my, uh, I had some personal things happen with emotionally and it just broke my, my, my spirit and I didn't want to continue anymore. And I just was done with it. I only went to go wrestle. I wanted to wrestle and I, I couldn't, you know, my knees weren't good enough. And the guy at my weight was, uh, was all American and I couldn't beat him with my knee how it was. I got smoked. So I, I, I wanted to compete, but I couldn't. So. Oh, okay. So the bad knee is actually an excuse that Chili has been using for decades to explain why he's backing out of fights. Now we have an established pattern. He uses that all the time. It's his coward's excuse out. So he says, I do want to fight. I would totally win, but my knee. And he's been doing it for a long time. You know, it, I mean, not woe me. I'm just saying it, that's most of us. That's, that's most people here is what I'm saying. Most of y'all have a similar story to me. So it's not woe is me. It's woe is that there's a certain elitist amount of population that gets to go to $100,000 a year schools. And the most of us are, you know, scrapping and struggling and e-begging. <laughs> that's me and my friend Tina that we laugh about all the time. I'm e-begging, yes. But you know, just so you guys know, um, I, I successfully e-begged over twenty thousand dollars for people this this year. What, was it forty thousand or twenty thousand? But we successfully raised. I think we're at forty grand. Didn't know what I said the other day because I calculated it all up. We've raised over forty grand for people this year, and of that forty grand, almost three thousand dollars I did raise for myself. So I raised about eight percent of the money. About eight percent of the money that I raised this year went to my pocket. And then I donated $5,000 this year from my online store. It, I mean, in the past year that I've been on YouTube. So those are the numbers. And I'll, and I'll publish them all. I mean, I just haven't done anything yet, but I'm... So, so... Well, first of all, I don't really believe these numbers. And think of how many people he actually helped put in jail by giving terrible advice. The biggest one I can think about is DMA. DMA was there on the fence as if he wanted to go to jail or not. And then Chili showed up and says, go to jail, go, go, screw these pigs. And then DMA got arrested. Now he still has court. And where's Chili? Nowhere to be found. Anyways, this guy just keeps putting people in trouble with his terrible legal advice. For today, I heard enough of him. And honestly, I don't know if we should do a part three of this video. He's getting very annoying, but we'll cover some more stuff he does in the future. I think we get the whole idea. He's threatening this judge because he's not getting his way. Basically acting like an entitled toddler. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.